Thank you for joining me for yet another unboxing video. And today you got the game Room 25, Run, Survive, Escape. rooms, 10 turns, 4 prisoners, 2 guards, only 1 exit. Room 25 inc includes is a fast and immersive game for 1 to 6 players with 5 different playing modes from full cooperation to the solitaire game. Inside the game you get 6 figures, 32 room tiles, 24 action tokens, 1 reversible board, six turn markers, six roll tiles, six character sheets, and 12 markers. So, let's crack this bad boy open and see what's inside. I've played this game several times and it's a blast. Really, really enjoy it. If you ever saw the movie The Cube, same concept, same stuff. Um, this does not come with the game. I picked it up at, um, Name of the place, but I got it for this was a buck something. So very, very inexpensive. Got the figures. Well, first off, you got your time tracker. Goes together like this. For solo cooperative, up to six players. There it is. Start here. The game ends over there. Now it's a timed event over here, competitive suspicion term, there's that, okay, now, the game, it's a heavy, it, the box seems heavy, but there's really not that much stuff in it, because they give it to you, and there's all these different languages in it, so, Naturally, we're going to look at the uh, English version, but they also, I think, have a French, Chinese, Japanese, or Mandarin, and the game boards, too, which are all in different languages as well. So, I'm just going to take those and chuck those back in the box. Yeah. I'll leave those. Matter of fact, I'll leave them out just so you guys can see them. And again, it's all the different language clone stuff. So I'm just going to throw it over there. table timer okay in the near future reality tv show called room 25 goes beyond the limits of good taste in an effort to increase ratings and shock viewers candidates are enclosed in a com complex of 25 rooms with unexpected and dangerous effects they'll have to trust each other and work together to find 20, room 25 and escape together quickly. Sometimes guards infiltrate the prisoners and try to prevent them from escaping by any means necessary. Got the setup. Contents. Construction of the complex, how to make it. Game cycle, programming, actions, countdown. Escape the complex. Alerts. Action descriptions. So you got four actions that your guys can do. Either look, move, push, or control. Look is also you can see the next tile next to you. Move is to move on to the next tile. Push is to push someone else onto a tile. And control is when you can make the you can make the board move. You gotta remind your tokens you see something you, you, that, that you want to remember, throw a token on them. Game modes, suspicion mode, goals, cycles, distribution, team mode, cooperation, a cooperative mode, competition mode, solo mode. And then they give you a description of every tile there is. Which is cool. I can do that. And that's that and the composition of the complex with each tile you have. There it is. It tells you you have right here 
is that you have, uh, whatchamacallit, only a certain amount of players. You only use a certain amount of rooms. Expert in competition mode and this expert suspicion mode. There's your rule book. The book is a total of uh, seven pages long, eight pages long. Okay, quick and easy game to learn. Here are your cards, and this has all the different uh, rooms that you can run into. So it's got an explanation of them all right there. Okay, so, and uh, you wind up having two actions per turn. The one action goes up here, and the second action goes down here. Okay, so you have to win your characters to Colossus. The nerd, the bimbo, the dude, the scientist, the little girl. Those are total six characters you can be. Speaking of six characters, you have six figures. Colossus. Again, not the best quality, but you get the job done. That's the dude. Professor. The nerd. That's the uh, little girl. And the best one, the bimbo. <laughs> Again, none of the characters have any kind of like special powers or anything. So everybody's on the same level. So that's that makes it, it makes the game very cool. And of course, you've got all your tiles that you have here. You go through them. Again, this sheet here tells you what each one is. So if you see that one there, it goes right to this one here. The mortal chamber. When you enter this room, you're instantly eliminated. That's the one room you never want to go into. It's got the death set on it. Okay, you got that one. That's an empty hallway. Got an empty hallway. A jail cell you fall wind up into. This is cool. You go here, you go back to the, you go back to the start. This one is a uh I what this one's good. This one's called this one's called the uh, prison so that's the vision chamber. Look at look, look secretly at any room on the board, and place it back where it was. That's what that one's for. Um, this one here, it turns the power on and off. It switches, it switch zones. Whole chamber you're going there, you go from two. Everybody has two actions, it drops you down to one action. The hallway, that's room 25. That's the exit room, that's where you want to get to. Water where you go in there, the room starts filling up water and you drown after two turn around. I hear some loud noises in the back. That's a pretty bad storm happening outside the house when I'm recording this, so I apologize for that. Not much I could do about it. Poisonous gas.
this is your tokens, your memory tokens that you would place it. Like you, you see this tile here, and you remember what it is, you can just throw it on there, say, when you go on there, you get your token back. Well, it's the same on the back with the question mark. Every person gets four of these. Which are your, your, your four actions. You pick which two you want to use per turn. So, put them over. They're your options. Peek. Walk to the next aisle. Push someone to the next aisle. This is to move the cube around. I'll move the whole room, all the rooms around. And each character has their four tokens. Yeah. So you got a bunch of those. And this goes here. And that is one thing I like about this, is, is this game is that there's not a lot of tokens, and it seems easy, but it, it's not. It's like a it's like a memorization game. But um, I found out the other day when I played a solo game that you know make one wrong move, your character definitely does not survive. There's, there's like a high likelihood if you make the wrong move, the character dies outright. You know. And the object's to get one person out, but they to try to get to everybody out, but it didn't quite happen that way. And then you got these are your characters, and they go on here. Oh, sorry. No, like here. They go on here. A tracker on your tracker. You know? You get one for each of the main characters, and if there's something that dies, or it's the skull card, and then they lose the turn off, so they don't go on. I got those. And like I was saying, oh, Michael's Crafts. That's what that, <laughs> Michael's Crafts. That's where I got this from. I think they're I think they're dollar dollar ninety nine each. I usually buy a bunch of them just for so I get when I got tokens in the game I throw them all in there. This is your memory. Each person gets one of them. You throw it down on tile, and when you get on that tile, you get it back. You can put it somewhere else. And there you go. It's on both sides. Same picture on same both sides. And basically, when the rooms shift, the arrows point which one, which row which column or which row um, shifted. And that's what these are for. So that right there is everything that you get in the game. Room 25. Run, survive, escape. Thank you for joining me. Be safe, be well. Throw us a like. Follow us, and again, I'll catch you on the next video. Enjoy the rest of your day.